my beloved friends, think for a moment about the love we have for our own children and loved ones. When they come to us in need, we go to great lengths to provide for them. Their joy becomes our joy, and their needs become our mission. But have you ever considered this? How many of us would willingly sacrifice our beloved children for those who treat us with disdain and hostility? The answer, my dear friends, is likely none of us. Yet, our Heavenly Father did just that. He gave us His only Son, knowing full well the pain and sacrifice that lay ahead. Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, willingly bore the weight of our transgressions and iniquities on the cross. If God, in His infinite love, did not withhold His Son from us, how much more will He freely give us all things? The Apostle Paul, inspired by the Holy Spirit, reassures us in Philippians 4, 19. My God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This is not a mere suggestion, but a divine promise that echoes through the corridors of time to reach our hearts today. Beloved, in the face of challenges and uncertainties, do not lose heart. Our God is a faithful provider. He urges us to bring our needs before Him in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not a question of if, but when. We are called to ask patiently, understanding that God's timing is perfect. His ways are higher than ours. And when our timing aligns with His, we witness the manifestation of our supply. Let us anchor ourselves in the unwavering truth that our God is a provider like no other. In moments of doubt and impatience, let us turn our hearts toward the example set by Jesus Christ, He who willingly embraced the cross, enduring unimaginable pain for the sake of our salvation. Rest assured that God's delays are not denials. He is refining us in the process, strengthening our faith, and preparing us to receive His blessings with hearts full of gratitude. Our Father knows the desires of our hearts, and He longs to bless us abundantly. In the waiting, let us cultivate a spirit of thanksgiving. Philippians 4, 6 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Even in the midst of waiting, let gratitude fill our hearts. For God is working behind the scenes orchestrating the perfect time for our breakthrough. Beloved, remember that God's provision extends beyond our physical needs. He cares for our emotional well-being, our spiritual growth, and our relationships. As we seek His provision, let us also seek His wisdom to discern His perfect will in our lives. Our God is not a distant deity. He is a loving Father who delights in providing for His children. As we continue to journey in faith, may our trust in His faithfulness deepen. Hold on to the promise found in Romans 8.32. He who did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up for us all, how will He not also with Him graciously give us all things? Beloved, lift your eyes to the heavens with expectation. For the God who sacrificed His Son for us will indeed supply all our needs according to His riches in glory. Trust, wait, and watch in anticipation for the fulfillment of His promises in your life. La. Let us be reminded that God's promises are not empty words, but guarantees of His unchanging character. As we persevere in prayer and patience, let our hearts be anchored in the hope that God is faithful to fulfill every promise He has made. In Psalm 27, 14, wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Waiting is not a passive endurance, but an active trust in the one who holds all things in His hands. Our Heavenly Father, who knows the perfect time for our provision, invites us to wait with expectancy and courage.
beloved as we wait, let us also seek God's guidance in aligning our desires with His will. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 implores us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Surrendering our will to His ensures that our requests are in harmony with His divine purpose. Remember the example of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. He prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours, be done. Luke 22 Just as Jesus submitted to the Father's will, let us approach God with open hearts, ready to receive His perfect plan for our lives. Beloved, the timing of God's provision is orchestrated with precision. He is not bound by our human constraints, but operates in the realm of eternity. Embrace the waiting season as an opportunity for spiritual growth, knowing that God is working in ways beyond what our finite minds can comprehend. In times of impatience, recall the words of Isaiah 40.31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Waiting on the Lord is not a sign of weakness, but a source of renewed strength and endurance. Let gratitude fill our hearts. Psalm 34, 1 encourages us. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In every season, let our mouths declare the goodness and faithfulness of our God. Beloved, understand that God's timing is purposeful and intentional. His delays are not a sign of forgetfulness, but rather an opportunity for us to draw closer to Him. As we wait, let us immerse ourselves in His Word, seeking to know Him more deeply. Psalm 119, 105 reminds us, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. In His word, we find guidance, comfort, and the assurance that He is working all things for our good. In Hebrews 11, they face trials, uncertainties, and seemingly insurmountable challenges. Yet they held on to the promises of God, Hebrews 6.15 tells us, And thus Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. Patient waiting is not a passive resignation, but an active, expectant endurance that positions us to receive the fulfillment of God's promises. Beloved, let us not lose heart in the waiting. Galatians 6.9 encourages us, And let us not grow weary of doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Our God is faithful, and the seeds of faithfulness we sow in the waiting will yield a harvest of blessing at the appointed time. Beloved, let this truth resonate within you. God will supply all your needs. Trust in Him, persevere in prayer, and rejoice in the assurance that our Heavenly Father is faithful to His promises. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Now let us pray our prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, recognizing your infinite love that knows no bounds. You are the source of all love, and in your presence we find the true essence of what it means to love and be loved. Lord, we pray for a transformation of hearts in ourselves and in the world around us. May your love permeate every fiber of our being, melting away hardness, bitterness, and indifference. Grant us the grace to love as you love unconditionally and sacrificially. Father, we lift up those who are struggling to love, whether due to past hurts, misunderstandings, or the challenges of life. Pour out your healing balm upon their wounds, that they may experience the freedom that comes from forgiveness and the restoration that flows from your love. We pray for unity among your people, 
that the world may witness the power of love in our relationships and interaction. May our love be a testimony to the transformative work of your spirit within us. Let our love be a beacon of light in a world that often seems dark and divided. Lord, we intercede for those who have never experienced the depth of your love. Open their hearts to receive your grace, that they may be drawn into the warmth of your embrace. Show them the beauty of your love through the love of your children. Holy Spirit, empower us to love beyond our human capacity. Teach us to love not only those who are easy to love, but also those who challenge us. Help us see others through your eyes with compassion and understanding. We pray for a revival of love in our communities, our nations, and our world. May your love break down walls of hatred and prejudice. May it inspire acts of kindness, generosity, and reconciliation. Lord, we surrender our hearts to you, asking that you mold them into vessels of your love. Fill us to overflowing, that your love may spill out into the lives of those we encounter each day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, believing that your love has the power to heal, restore, and transform. In all things, may your love be our motivation, our compass, and our strength. As we surrender to the transformative power of your love, let it overflow from us and touch the lives of everyone we encounter. We pray all these things in the matchless name of Jesus, our Savior, and the embodiment of your perfect love. Amen.